feed your creative side? WGN's Aaron McElroy is here with a unique place on the city's yeah. north side that lets you do just that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. The place is Chicago School of Leather Making and Shoe Arts. And so it's, you know, I was kind of like, huh? What? What does that have to do with unwinding, right? But it's one of those things you just have to experience to understand. So here you go. So when I first walk in the studio, I smell something kind of warm. It has this nostalgic smell to me, and it just kind of is like it's reaching out to hug me and inviting me in. With the flick of each switch, a workshop is bathed in light and possibilities. It's the beginning of a sense of adventure, the potential that something exciting is going to happen. The quiet pause of the morning. That would be nice. Before every work table fills with those looking to create. People are very much removed from where our things come from. People don't know how things go together. I didn't know the first thing. I knew nothing about leather. I knew nothing about patterns. A lot of people come in thinking that they want to make something, but they're not sure they can. And that moment when they really realize that they have done it is just, it's, it's priceless. And after I took the first class, I just was completely obsessed with this, um, and I just really got into it. Here in the studio, tucked off Ravenswood, students learn how to turn swaths of leather into totes, shoes, belts, and anything else they can dream up. It's the possibilities of what you can make. It's just the idea of coming and seeing what's going to happen. I just made a handbag for my mom. And I started taking some shoemaking classes last year, and so it's been really fun. It's really important to be able to physically touch things and do things. And perhaps that's where the magic lies. You're so focused on what you're doing that it just, the, the world is gone. It's outside there, and we're in here, and we're just focused on creating, and I think it's kind of like a therapy thing. A lot of times after their job, they're, they're a little tense or they've been through traffic. And the moment they sit down at the sewing machine or they start cutting, I, I literally see their shoulders drop. Over the last few years, the number of students coming in the door has more than doubled. Learning how to cut and set rivets and burnish edges. I never dreamed that this was going to turn into this. Rosenberg's mom always encouraged her to create. So one bag led to another and another and another. Before I knew it, I had a business. And it all started here. Her business logo, Harriet's Hides, is now on the wall with the others who found their calling within these walls. And I have dedicated my entire purse-making business to my mom. Her name was Harriet. Every bag stamped with a signature rose in her mom's memory. They're finding that there's just a lot of joy in that work. Working with their hands, but joy reflected in their faces. <laughs> their faces start to glow. They are so happy. They can't believe they've just made what they've made. Yeah, and after shooting this story, I wanted to sign up for a class too. So if you want to know more, we'll post a link along with this story on my Facebook and on our website, WGNTV.com. But pretty awesome. Yes. That is so neat. I'm with you. I'll take the class with you. <laughs> you could make a belt bin. I mean, yes. the, the possibilities are endless.